Uh, hi, uh, Christina and Scott. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Just like last time, I'm going to be speaking very quickly. And uh, the beauty of the video is you can play it back because there's a lot of information that's going to come your way. So uh, with that being said, I've been trying to do some research for your options and how I may be able to best be of assistance to you. And uh, there's some decisions that you, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll have to make. So with some of the information that I came across that I think may be most relevant to you and helpful at this time is uh, WooCommerce is a uh, program that's basically set up to shopping carts for different stores. And when you have WooCommerce, you can uh, use different payment. Now, the, the shopping cart is one thing, putting the stuff, the, uh, displaying the products, putting them in the shopping cart. But to actually check out, that would be like PayPal or Square or Stripe or your bank. Uh, there's lots of different payment processing software. But what we're talking about right now is the e-commerce, the shopping cart, the shopping software, the products. So WooCommerce, I believe, may be the world's largest uh, developer, uh, most popular for the shopping carts. And then there's thousands of different plugins and extensions that people make that work on WooCommerce. And so what earlier today when I was doing some research, I came across this theme that is uh, sold via WooCommerce. It's about $100 a year. Now, you know, that's not super expensive, but it's not cheap, but it looks like a pretty decent theme. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to having a theme that's already pre-built. Um, I'll explain this again quickly, but you can play it back because it's, it's hard to necessarily understand at one time. If you have a theme and the plugins are built in, all the functions built in, uh, it, the stuff is not separate. It's all together. The, the, the functions work within the theme. Uh, what happens with the website that you have currently, which is this website right here, uh, we have the theme right here. We have the theme and the theme is actually, I believe, a, a Genesis theme. And then we have all these plugins uh, right here. These are all the plugins that you have in. Now, no matter what, you need a lot of plugins, not this many. This is one of the concerns I have. We brought this website over from your uh, needs 420 website. And there are a lot of plugins in here. And Christina, you may remember this probably in a, one of the first videos I sent you is some of these things I'm not familiar with and I don't use them, but I did not want to start pulling these out or disabling them because I don't know uh, the company that built the original website and the store uh, did some things. And so we didn't change that. We just brought the store in and we've been maintaining it pretty much as is which is why some of these things haven't necessarily been updated but or removed. But with that being said, so this is a lot of plugins. Uh, we, we, I, I, we, we, this is a lot, uh, 43 total, you can see right here. So, you know, 15, 20 maybe at the most, but we probably got way too many plugins running here. But what I was going to mention to you is that uh, the theme is this theme here that's already built. And it's got the plugins, a lot of those plugins that we were just looking at, are built into this website. And so uh, the beauty of that is that it's it's all built in. And so, you, you know, you, you can get around pretty quickly. The disadvantage is, is that some stuff is not customizable. Um, and I can't give you an, an exact um, example other than to say, you know, maybe like here, this might be four rows and you can't do five rows. You know, you can only do four. You can do three, but you can't do five. You know, that that's an example. Uh, can you put the numbers above or below? You know, that might be another example. I'm not saying that applies to this theme, but that, that's uh, what I'm saying to you is that if the plugins are separate, you can modify every single part of every website. If you decide that you want to go with this theme, which it is very nice, it's built out, you know, you, we'd be going through it, you would be changing the products, the categories, and those types of things. But uh, you know, there'd be some stuff that you might say, hey, I want to do this. And I might be saying to you, I, that theme's not going to allow that. But this theme is a WooCommerce theme. It's a nice looking theme. I think that it's fully functional. As you see from the email that I sent you earlier, they obviously have a lot of companies that are uh, CBD retailers that use, that's why they created this theme with the plugins already built in so that a store like yours uh, can customize this, get it up and running, and 
it may not be, you know, you can't change every single thing, but you can change a lot. I mean, it's, it, it's a beautiful story. It's, it's a nice website. So with that being said, that's what I wanted to show you was this is uh, something for you to consider. Price on this, it's about, I'll just say, 100 bucks a year with all the updates, that type of stuff. Uh, for me to actually work on it, get this thing set up for you, get it installed, configured, um, maybe another 500. Uh, I think I could do it for that and get the other plugins set up because you still need your security, you need your backups, you know, you need some of the other software that's going to make it so that you can edit the website and, um, and keep the site secure and up and running. So it would be probably like about 600 bucks for this website uh, to become then your website. And then we would start to customize this. I'd show you, we'd log in. And this is actually, it would look very similar to this, but a lot less of these plugins. We have the users down here. Christina, you should be one of the users. Let's go to all users. Scott, we can get you a username and password. Uh, we've got um, Beth is here. We've I need to double check. I thought we disabled some of these people. Maybe you want her gone. So she said as a manager, Christina, you're an administrator. You're higher up. I'm an administrator. Some of these people have registered as customers. Um, so anyway, with all that being said, I know I'm rambling now, but uh, I wanted to show you that, uh, Christina, you, you can log in. Uh, you've got your username and password. Hopefully, if not, I can get it for you. Scott, let me know your, your your email and we'll get you set up so you have an email address that I can send you a password or the website can send you a password. Uh, from there, we'd end up being able to, to go to like the builder and change some of the uh, pages or if we're going to be entering a new product, we'd be going here, entering products or going down to a WooCommerce setting down here, not WooFence, but uh, we'd have another area here, WooCommerce. And then your products. Oh, you go through products here. Add new or edit your products here. So I'll just show you real quickly all products. And then these are the products that are already currently in your site. And this is how you would end up editing them. So this is where like that 120 bucks with the, some of the training because we'll need to. I'll need to make videos for you. We'll need to spend some time going through the through the site. Uh, I'll show you how to do some stuff. You'll have some questions and. You know, we'll be able to touch base and uh, share a video screen and uh, do some question and answer stuff. So, uh, and I can do a lot of this for you, but again, it's good for you to be able to do it too. The other thing, and I'll show you real quickly again here, if I click on create a pow powder, this is opening up. And this is where I mentioned to you before, I think in an early video that we don't have any, this is your SEO. This is where I think your competitors take advantage of the market is, you know, you need a key phraser. So, Obviously, create a power powder. Create, um, I hope it's on the right powder. So that would be good enough, at least from there. And then, you know, you'd want, I think in an earlier video, I believe I did this for you, is you would change your snippet. So this is what it is right now, which is not helpful. And then you want to go down here to your meta description and type in uh, create a powder highest quality, uh, you know, uh, Best value, not prices, whatever, you know. So you'd want to type in here so that you're filling your your uh, snippet. So I'm rambling on, but that's some of the stuff that you, we're going to want to be doing. Then your categories are here. And these are probably okay categories. I think I remember some of this stuff. This goes back a year, two years ago uh, from the site we brought in. I think we made some changes. I think we removed some of these. But you want categories, and then you have your products under the different categories. So, okay. Well, uh, so. The options are right now, your current website is a theme that is, I believe, as I mentioned to you, the Genesis theme and the plugins are separate. Uh, I think we need to rebuild your site and pull a lot of those plugins out because I don't think we need them. They are currently using, I thought I saw like this, Woo360 is the theme that they installed on your website here. You can see natural needs and remedies. So that's a Woo360. And what that is basically, you can see here, it's just, it's a child theme to put onto the website and then to customize, which is okay. But, uh, you know, again, I think the options, the best thing is we'd end up do, doing it from, a, from a, a theme that is built by WooCommerce, or we'll go ahead and we'll use like Astro Pro or Cadence uh, to build a completely new site and add all new uh, plugins. Advantages, disadvantages to both. Uh, I wanted to get this information to you so you can at least 
think about it and have more information so you know what's going on. So um, I'll help you as much as I can and I'll, you know, walk every, do everything for you if you need me to, but, or with your, uh, as an employee or whatever. And well, we'll talk soon. Okay. This is doable. It's a good couple hours of learning, uh, some practice for sure. And, then, and once somebody learns how to do it, you know, then they know how to do it. Just like any software, you know, it might take a couple hours to learn, but once you know how to do it, then, okay, now you remember next time and the next time. So, um, okay. Well, I uh, hope that helped. Uh, I'm going to upload this and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.